What's up everybody, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my five favorite nude lipsticks. Couple nude lip liners. So I think I mentioned a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lipsticks total in this video and two lip liners. We swatched them all today. Just kind of give you the download of my favorites. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump right in. All right, so let's start off with lip liners. I have two for you. They are both from Charlotte Tilbury because the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liners are by far my favorite lip liners I've ever used for a few reasons. They stay in place, they help my lipstick last longer, and they honestly make my lips look more symmetrical because the right side of my mouth, so the top, the top lip and the bottom lip, are like slightly thinner than the left side, so I always have to overline the top part of my lip and the bottom part of my lip just to make them symmetrical. And this is the only lip liner I've used that has done that in a way where it doesn't look like I'm lip lining, overlining the right side of my mouth, if that makes sense. So these two are my all time favorites. The first is Iconic Nude, and that's the one that I'm wearing right now. And the second is Pillow Talk. Both of these are amazing. I'll swatch them for you really quick. So right here is Iconic Nude, and right next to that is Pillow Talk. They are both amazing. If you want a more pinky nude, go with Pillow Talk. If you want a more true nude, go with Iconic Nude. So just to show you kind of in action what we're working with with Iconic Nude, I told you I already have that on, but I will reline my lips so you guys can see. It's a little darker than my lipstick, which I like, but it goes on so smooth like butter and it does not move. Like sometimes you use lip liners and they're super smooth, but they move all around and that defeats the purpose. I don't have any feathering. So you could coat your entire lips with the lip liner and just wear that, but I will tell you my combo first. So leading into lipsticks, the first one that I'll talk about is Dance Floor Princess. This is from Charlotte. I promise not every product in this video is Charlotte, but I just really love her lip products a lot. I would say it's it's such a neutral nude. It's really good, but it's definitely more on the pink side. It's exactly what I'm wearing today. I will put a little bit more on just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's so good. It's a teeny bit pinky. I love that combo of the Iconic Nude and the Dance Floor Princess. I think they're so good together. I wear this combo all the time. I'll swatch that on my hand too, so you can kind of see it next to the liners. It's like, it's not peachy, it's not pinky. It's like really a true nude, which I love because I think that's very hard to find. Okay, next I'm going to do Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner and the Pillow Talk Lipstick. I just wanna show you guys exactly how it looks. I feel like this color pillow talk gets a ton of attention and so i wanted to show you exactly what we're working with so that is pillow talk lip liner you could again put this all over the lips but i want to show you guys the lipstick here's the shade let me also swatch that on my hand so we can compare. Pillow Talk is this one on the bottom and Dance Floor Princess is this one right here. But they are slightly different. Pillow Talk is a little bit darker. All right, next we have a new favorite of mine. This is MAC Blankety 101. It is such a good nude pink. I was so happy when I found it. And it is a little different from the others, so let's swatch that one right on top. So this one right here is MAC Blankety. Then we have Pillow Talk. Is motorcycle serious? Okay, so MAC Blankety, Pillow Talk, Dance Floor Princess. I'll do no lip liner with this one just so you guys can see. If you don't want to try a lip liner, just kind of how this looks. It's nice and creamy. It's honestly the color of my lips. It's perfect. I would say it's even more neutral, almost like gray undertone neutral, but in like the best way. I would say, yeah, it's even more neutral than Dance Floor Princess or Pillow Talk. And this is a very neutral shade, so I absolutely love this one. This is the one I've been grabbing all the time. Honestly, you can't go wrong with that one. All right, next we have this shade from Revlon. This is a super affordable nude. This is Untold Stories. It's a matte velvet lip. It is this one right here. So you can see the finish is different because it's a velvet matte. Let's put it on without a lip liner to show you. And the real difference with this one is the finish. Like I said, it is just, as you can see, a velvet matte. It's not gonna look um, creamy or shiny or anything like that. It looks completely matte, but I love that it's a velvet matte because it is a more velvety finish than a regular matte lipstick where sometimes I look more dry. And you can see these all go with my makeup look. They all go with my skin tone. If you find the right nude for yourself, 
I feel like once you find the first one, you kind of know what to look for in the rest of the nudes that you're looking for. They're always gonna go with your eye makeup and your face makeup because they work for your skin. All right, our last lipstick is from Buxom. It is called Goddess. Let's put it right here. So that is Goddess right there. So just to recap, we have the Revlon Untold Stories, MAC Blankety, Pillow Talk, Dance Floor Princess, and then this is the newest one, which is Goddess from Buxom. This lipstick formula is really good. I was so impressed when I first tried out these lipsticks. This one's really similar to the Iconic Nude lip liner. It's a similar tone. It's not as pink. It's still a really good nude. These are also plumping, so they have a little bit of that, like, they give your lips a little bit of a tingle and a little bit of a plump, which I love. And this would be the furthest thing from a pink nude compared to the ones that we use today. It's probably the most, not peach, but it definitely has more of a peach undertone than a pink undertone like a lot of the other ones do. Cream finish, really, really nice, super comfortable on the lips. So that is Goddess from Buxom. Sometimes I will even mix my lipstick shades together if I put a nude on and I have a certain eyeshadow on and I'm like, those just aren't working together. I'll grab another nude and I'll kind of build on top just to get that custom shade for me that I know works. So I'm gonna put a little bit of MAC Blankety on top of that just cause I love this shade a lot. And it just changes it a little bit. And then if you like a more peachy nude, I do have two for you and I will swatch them. Um, I personally like pinky and more neutral nudes on my skin tone. I think a peachy nude looks better on a more olivey skin tone or when I'm really tan, the peach looks really good. Icon from Buxom, which is, these are the full force plumping lipsticks that I mentioned. It's the shade Icon. And then Angel Ale Sandra from Charlotte. These are both awesome. This one right here is Icon from Buxom. And then this is that um, Angelay's something, whatever, from Charlotte. So that is my five to 10 favorite nude lipsticks for you. I'll link everything below in case you want to purchase. Let me know if you have any questions about nude lipsticks in the comments below, and I will see you next week. Bye.